City of Denver says it is going to meet its goal to move 1,000 people from the streets to shelter this year. And they're going to do it by moving hundreds of people out of seven encampments in the next two weeks. The city shared its plan with city council today, closing seven encampments by December 31st, including four in the final four days of the year. Mayor Mike Johnson pledged to move 1,000 people indoors by year's end when he was elected this summer. Right now, the city says it has moved 400, and pardon me, the city says it's moved 584 people off the streets. Important to note, some of those people may be homeless again right now. The city counts them towards achieving its goal of 1,000 people, even if they don't stay sheltered. So Denver's trying to shelter those 1,000 people while at the same time finding short-term housing for the migrants coming here from the southern border. Sending migrants to a hotel in Aurora went badly. And now Denver is changing course on that policy. You also heard about that situation here. First, our Mark Salinger explained how some vulnerable people had ended up on the streets because Denver had rented out an entire hotel for these migrants in Aurora. And Mark says, uh, Denver says that they're not going to do this again. Yeah, so not only will Denver stop using this hotel, they will also send buses to come pick up the migrants so they don't then become homeless in Aurora once they're kicked out of the shelter. It's a total change from the plan that Denver put into action on Thanksgiving when it sent migrants to Aurora without leaders in Aurora actually being fully on board. Still, though, Denver won't close the hotel immediately. Migrants here will have vouchers that they uh, that allows them to stay for 14 days or up to 37 days if they have kids. Once those vouchers expire, Denver will send buses to Aurora, pick up the migrants and take them back to Denver, where presumably those migrants will then be homeless in Denver since they've already timed out of the shelter system. The city says this point it's it, at this point, it's not kicking families out onto the streets. Aurora Mayor Mike Kaufman was on the radio this morning saying he asked Denver Mayor Mike Johnson to stop sending migrants to his city. Kaufman says the whole thing was handled poorly, which Johnston seemed to have a very different view of when we talked to him last week. I thought it was handled poorly, though. I mean, I think uh, it wasn't uh, explained to me that they, it wasn't just rooms in a hotel. It was taking over an entire hotel and that there really wasn't a plan. Some cities are less uh, supportive than others, but I have to give my hat off to Aurora. They have been open. Mayor Kaufman's been a great partner, uh, and we're looking at long-term partnerships there. It's so pretty clear there those two mayors might be on different pages for how this all went down, Kyle. At this point, we don't know what the long-term partnership is possible. The city of Denver now says that they'll find another hotel to house, mi house migrants in Denver. We don't know where that'll be or how they're going to do that, considering that Mayor Johnson already told us they're out of space. That's why we send people to Aurora. Well, and the city of Denver has already burned a bridge. Or, or at least weakened it with Adams County because of the way that they came Similar into a hotel thing. in Adams County. Exactly. Leaders there said that, that they didn't get noticed. So at some point, you start losing neighbors that want to participate. Yeah, so Johnston said that he talked to county commissioners in Aurora. I'm not sure which county. Of course, their city council has a lot of uh, power in Aurora. Didn't talk to city council members, though. I was about to say, Aurora is made up of three different counties. Right. None of which have control over what city goes on in the city no of idea. Aurora. Okay, right. all right. Mark, thank you.